It happened late last night. It must have been two or three, something like that. And the dogs were going to ape shit downstairs. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Is there a raccoon in my house or something? And I heard a, a lot of like chairs being moved. And I'm like, fuck, somebody's robbing my house, right? So I grab a shotgun and I run downstairs. And as I get downstairs, the, the back door is closing. I hear it close. I ran out here by my barn and I see a, a Bigfoot with this pail. And I notice in the pail is Charlie. And she had Charlie in this milk bucket and she's walking off with him, you know? And I screamed, I said, hey, fucking drop the puppy, Sasquatch. And then Charlie jumped out of the milk bucket like that. And then she starts pointing to her breast and then she points to the milk pail. And I go, what? What are you talking about? I was ready to, I was ready to shoot the Bigfoot. I was like, you're one dead Sasquatch, you know? And then she starts going like this, and then she does one of these. And I said, oh, is your baby missing? And she nodded her head, yes. And then she went to her breast and pointed to Charlie. And I said, oh, d you're lactating and your breast hurt because there's nobody to drink the milk. And she nodded her head. I said, okay, that's a different story, but you can't have the puppy. So Charlie, by that time, was standing right next to me, and I picked Charlie up, and I handed Charlie to the Sasquatch and said, here, you know, use Charlie, but you can't leave. So she sat down on this trash can here and started breastfeeding Charlie, you know? It was, it was one of the strangest things I've ever seen. It was very bizarre. And after about 10 minutes, she kind of held Charlie like this and, and handed Charlie back to me. And I said, okay, that's cool. We got no problem. I had the gun on her the whole time, pointing at her sitting on the trash can. Like, if that if that Bigfoot tries to eat this puppy, it's fucking dead. You know? It's fucking dead. So she hands the puppy back to me, and then she, she nods her head, and I said, Good day to you, ma'am. Good day to you. Now it's time for you to go. And she jumped over. She just, like, kind of, like, didn't even jump. She just walked over this fence which is about five feet high and walked off I'm not worried about my safety or the puppy's safety this time that was a very reasonable fucking Bigfoot but that's not the way all Bigfoot are Sasquatch can be dangerous and if they're lactating and they lose their baby I don't know what happened to her baby you know and I'm not really sure why she didn't use one of the watermelon children to do it but but Charlie, Charlie saved the day and helped this Sasquatch, and I'm sure that the Sasquatch, in turn, will look out for us. That's what I'm hoping.